So now in the first video of this example, we have already found out the regression line for the data available. Now we need to find out how well the data fits the regression line. This can be found out by calculating the standard error of the estimate which is represented as SYX. Now the standard error of the estimate is similar to the standard deviation in many ways. Standard deviation which is represented as sigma. So just as the standard deviation is a measure of how widely the data points are dispersed around the arithmetic mean, the standard error of estimate reflects how widely the errors are dispersed around the regression line. Now the formula for standard deviation as we already know is sigma is equal to the square root sum of x i minus x bar square where i is equal to 1 to n divided by n. Now x i represents the various data points so it can be x1, x2, x3 and so on which is basically nothing but let's say 6, 5, 3 and so on which are all the data points given to us. So in this case x is the each value in the data set x bar is the mean of the values in the data set and n is the number of values in the data set. This is x. So basically in order to find out the standard deviation what we do is each value of this data set is subtracted by the mean which is x bar of this data set. Then each value that we obtain we square it and add all of them. Now let's look at the standard error of the estimate. Syx is equal to square root of sum of yi minus yi dash square divided by n minus 2. Now as we had seen in part 1, so let's say these are the various data points and let's say this is the line that is the regression line. So corresponding to each value of the data set we will have a value on the line. Let's say this is y1. So this point on the line corresponding to y1 will be known as y1 dash. So what we are doing here is we are subtracting these two values. Let's say this is the sales number here. So we are getting this value here or yi minus yi dash and then we are squaring it. Similarly we will do the same thing for all the data points and add all of them up and then divide by n minus 2. So here we were subtracting the mean from each values whereas here we are subtracting the corresponding value on the regression line. And then for standard deviation we were dividing it by n but here we are dividing by n minus 2. 
so in this equation y i is equal to the given data value of the dependent variable and y i dash is equal to data value of the dependent variable computed by the equation for the regression line and n is the number of data points so basically we have to find the value of y i which is already given in the example we have to then find out the value of y i dash which is nothing but the corresponding points on the regression line so basically what we can do is we can find the value of y i dash by using the formula y is equal to a plus b x now in the previous video we have already calculated the values of a and b so if we put the corresponding values of x we'll get the value of y dash so let us perform those calculations so this is the equation that we had found out in part one where we have plugged in the values of a and b in the equation y is equal to a plus bx so now what we need to find out is the value of y dash which is nothing but the value of y corresponding to the values of x on the regression line so what we'll do is we'll input these values of x in this equation and the corresponding value of y will be y dash so let's do the first one so y1 dash is equal to 441.77 plus 359.6 multiplied by 1 this is equal to 441.77 plus 359.6 which is equal to 801.37 y2 dash is equal to 441.77 plus 359.6 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 441.77 plus 719.2 which is equal to 1160.97 similarly let's calculate all the values of y dash up to y12 so these are all the values of y dash next we have to find out the value of y minus y dash square so basically what this means is 600 minus 801.37 and then square similarly 1550 minus 1160.97 and then square so let's perform these calculations so the first one is 600 minus 801.37 square so this is minus 201.37 square which is equal to 40 549.87 for the next one 1550 minus 1160.97 square so this is equal to 389.03 square and this is equal to 1513444 so similarly let's calculate for the remaining so these are the values of uh, y minus y dash square now we have to find the sum of all of these so 
let us do that let's find the sum so this is the sum of the values 1324279.21 so let's now proceed and plug this value into the formula for standard error of the estimate so the formula for standard error of the estimate is SYX is equal to square root sigma yi minus yi dash square divided by n minus 2 so we already got the value of sigma yi minus yi dash square which is 1324279.21 we know the value of n which is 12 and then minus 2 so this is equal to square root 1324279.21 divided by 10 which is equal to square root so this divided by 10 becomes 1324.27.921 so this is equal to 363.9 so this is the value of the standard error of the estimate now the lower the value the better the line is fitting now the calculations to find out this value of standard error of estimate using this formula were pretty complex which means it is more time consuming and is very prone to error so there is another way to find out the value of standard error of the estimate let's look at that second way so standard error of estimate can also be found out by square root sigma y square minus a sigma y minus b sigma xy divided by n minus 2 now in this formula we have already found out the value of the sum of y values because we had done that in part 1 of the video we also have the sum of x y all we need to find is y square and then sum it whereas in this formula we had to first find out y dash for each of the values then we had to find out y i minus y i dash square and then sum it up so let's use this formula now now in part one of the example we had already found the values of x y and x square now in order to find out the value of standard error of the estimate using the second formula we have to find the value of y square so let's do that so basically what we'll do is we'll find the square of these values so 600 square which is equal to 360000 similarly 1550 square which is equal to 2402500 so once we find all these values we then have to add them up so instead of writing all these values here and then adding them up we can directly find the values of the squares of the y values and sum them up using the calculator directly so let me pull my calculator here so 600 square plus 1550 square plus 1500 square plus 1500 square plus 2400 square plus 3100 square plus 2600 square plus 2900 square plus 3800 square plus 4500 square plus 4000 square plus 4900 square so enter so the value comes out to be 1125025000 so 
So the total of y square value is 112502500. Now let's put this value into the formula for standard error of estimate. So this is equal to square root. Now sigma y square is the value that we just found out which is 112502500 minus a which is 441.77 multiplied by sigma y which is 3.3350 minus B which is 359.6 multiplied by Sigma XY which is 268200 and this divided by N is 12 so 12 minus 2 is 10 so let us calculate this 112502500 minus four forty one point seven seven multiplied by three 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 five zero so one four seven three three zero two nine point five minus 359.6 multiplied by 268200 so this is 9644720 and this whole divided by 10 so this is equal to 12502500 minus 1473302.95 minus 9644420 so the value is 1324750.5 divided by 10 so this divided by 10 is equal to under root 13247.5.05 so we have to find the square root of this number which is 363.9 so this is the value of the standard error which is the same as what we had found using the other formula here 363.9 so this formula is much easier to calculate and gives the same answer so you can use either of the formula depending on your convenience